Okay, welcome back. Today we're continuing to talk about transformations, and today we're going to focus on the dilation. Remember, a dilation is just like when you go to the optometrist and have your pupils dilated. They're going to change size. And with the scale factor labeled with the letter R, we're going to be able to change the size of a shape or an object in the coordinate plane. Today, I've set up already what it's going to look like if we use matrix notation. We have our points A, B, and C, and we put them right into the vertex matrix, just like we did with translations. The X's go on top, and the Y's go on the bottom. We have our scale factor, one-third. That number sits right outside the matrix. Now, it's important to remember that we already know what's going to happen to our shape based on the scale factor. If the scale factor is greater than one, our shape is going to be an enlargement. It's going to get bigger. Our scale factor of one third is less than one. So this time it's going to get smaller and be a reduction. But if it were to equal one, it would be a congruence transformation and it would stay exactly the same. So it's all set up. It's ready to go. We need to multiply. And remember, this scalar on the outside, our one-third, which is the scale factor, gets multiplied by every number in this matrix. So we take one-third and we multiply it. And we get two-thirds, negative two-thirds, four-thirds, seven-thirds, negative one, two, and four-thirds. Now remember, these are points on the graph, but you might be stuck. How do I graph negative two-thirds or seven-thirds? That's okay. Don't be afraid that you have fractions or weird numbers. They're still on the graph. You just have to put them between the whole numbers that you already have there. This was just an example to show you that. Now, we have our solution matrix but what does this actually mean? Don't forget that these columns are actually the new points of our dilated image. Each of these green boxes is the new location of the dilation image. We have A prime, B prime, and C prime. And we can take those, put them on the graph with our pre-image, and actually see that a scale factor of one-third gave us a reduction. Hopefully, this is enough to get you going on your homework and you can remember where you left off. Stay tuned and we'll have more mini lessons on reflections and rotations. Thanks.